Hey there, Dewdrops. That's Diane from Coravina. Happy Thursday. How are you? Hope you're good. Hope everything's good in your neighborhood. Everything's going good here. So all this week we are making gorgeous silk scarves using watermarbling. And our theme is blue. Kind of fall blues. All right. So we're heading into the winter months. So we want kind of darker, more moody blues. That's what we're going for. Okay. So let me remind you what our inspiration picture is. Here it is. Okay, so we have got kind of teals with a little bit of mustard, dark blue. Um, I think I'm gonna put some white in there to pop our colors. Like, let's take a look at our colors. We have got this darker green, our navy. Then we've got, this is a little bit of a darker blue, a mustard. Gonna have some white in there for contrast, all right? See our colors? I think it's gonna look okay. Let's take a peek. Yeah, because there's gray in the picture, like in the in the little color scheme of the picture, but I see more blues than I do gray. And so we're trying to match our picture here today. It's another moody fall wedding. I love it. All right, so we're gonna clean the surface of our tray. We're gonna remove any dust or debris that may have formed on the surface. So let me switch your view here and we are gonna get going. All right. Here we go. And we clean the surface of the tray just by dragging newspaper across. Anything that is trapped underneath the water, any paint that might be making our water a little cloudy, eh, I'm not really worried about it. As long as our newspaper comes up clear, we are good to go. All right, so we are going to adjust that just a little bit. Okay, you can see half my head, Laura, sorry. All right, we're going to start with our, our line of white straight down the center of the tray. This does really help prime the water. You can see our white showing up a little bit more because we have marbled in this tray a couple of times now. Okay, so let's see. We've got blues, mustards, and green. Let me pull up my picture here so I can really see what we're working with. All right, so it is very blue, right? That kind of dark moody blue. So we're gonna come in with a line of blue in the middle. I've been really liking laying things out in horizontal lines lately. So maybe we'll do that again, as long as this bottle doesn't give me a hard time. I test all my bottles but they are still stubborn. Okay, there we go. One drop at a time down the center of the tray or down the side of the tray. But we're going for one drop. I'm gonna come back up here with our mustard now and drop through the top. Okay, so it is Got some nice big lines. We kind of did this the other day though, so maybe we'll drop over top of our lines. I'm gonna thicken them up here. Then maybe we'll alternate, see what happens. So welcome to anybody who is new to the channel. We are water marbling silk scarves. Water marbling means we are painting on the surface of a tray of water. We are floating very thin paints onto the surface of a water that's, it's not regular water, it's called carrageenan. It is a water mixed with like a seaweed powder. If you reach in and touch it, it's a little bit slimy. Kind of interesting, right? So um, because of that, the water is more dense than the paints. The paints float and we can try and paint on the surface of water. So I'm just applying our paint here. We're gonna try and thicken it up a little bit. We wanna get a really nice, vibrant looking scarf. I haven't done any blue here yet, so let's do some blue here. Looks like our mustard separated a little bit. That's kind of a bummer. But we're gonna keep, keep going with it. We'll probably get kind of a crackling effect.
So with water marbling, it's very much of an abstract art form. You can get concise patterns, which I enjoy doing <laughs> most of the day, most of the time. But it all it can also be just really uh, maddening because you try and achieve something, but it doesn't go the way you're thinking. So it's best to just kind of go with it. That's what we really do here on this channel a lot. There are not a lot of times where I'm like, okay, this is what we're doing. Because a lot of times that kind of attitude doesn't help us. <laughs> it doesn't work out at all. Um, so we're just playing around. We're just going with it today. So you can see we've got our lines. We've got our, we're thickening up everything. We've got our gold, our green, and our blue. I feel as though we should put some more white in here somewhere, and I'm trying to decide where to put it. It's gonna be pretty. Maybe we'll do it in the center. And then we'll drop over top of it. So we just have a little bit more pop for the center line. we go. A little bit more green. It's supposed to be very dark and moody. Or romantic. I should say romantic instead of moody. <laughs> but that's how fall feels, I think, anyways. All right. You know what? I'm going to drop some green over this, too. So it looks like we've got green on the top for almost everything. Maybe I'll come back in and do the blue as the final color on the top here. It does look like our colors are still spreading quite a bit. I want to get a very, very vibrant scarf. So I guess I'm going to keep dropping here. Just, you know, some instincts are telling me it's not going to be dark enough. paint bottle is telling me perhaps the scarf just doesn't want to get made. Okay, well that looked alright. That last set of drops. So, I'm going to reach in here and pop some bubbles real quick going to unlock my computer that fell asleep on us. Okay, very good. So let's start moving our paint around. I think we should, we'll do it, we'll start with this one again. Okay, and we are just going to slowly drag our tools down the tray. got that nice wide line of blue in the middle. I kind of like that. I'm going to drag it back. This is an interesting one. I don't know how it's going to really look. If it's going to look like your picture or not. We do have those wide lines of color. I'm enjoying that. Okay, got an air bubble there. I think we're gonna dip it right here. I like this one. I think it could be really, really pretty. Whoops. It's kind of the key when you're making a scarf is you stop when you know you like it. Otherwise you mess with it too much and your color lines get really, really tight. Okay guys, so we're gonna drop this down. Here we go. Trying to drop it even in the tray. Try not to touch the sides. Oh, it's going to be a close one. And I hit my other camera, but that's okay. All right. Interesting. So we are going to now remove our scarf 
from the Scarf Dipping Rack. And we're going to see what we've got. It does look kind of moody and dark and fall. So our scarfs are 100% silk and they are six feet long. They are really fun to wear a whole bunch of different ways. Let me pull you guys back up here so I can see you. All right, so we made a pretty scarf. I think it's pretty, all right? We're gonna pull it out of the water. Believe it or not, the paint has instantly set um, on the tray wherever the scarf touched. It soaked up what was on the surface of the water. So we'll pull it out. We're gonna see dripping and running. There's a lot of paint on the tray. And then we'll see what we made. All right, because it always looks different inside the water when you lift it up inside the rinse bucket and dry. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Kind of interesting. You can see our green is running a little bit. It looks fall though, doesn't it? I think it does. I'm kind of digging that color. All right, let me put it in the rinse bucket. Very fun kind of masculine colors I like it a lot I can't wait to see that one dry because it always looks different like I said so what happens next next is I dry it and then I photograph it and then I show you the pictures which just so happen to be here what do you think do you like it I hope you like it I hope it looks like the picture um, so this is Diane from Corvina saying thank you so much for being a part of my life and watching this channel and enjoying water marbling with me. I love that I have people who love to do this as much as I do. It really makes me feel good. So, um, if you are in the mood to shop for scarves, you should go to Cora-Venus.com and see what we've got available. They are selling out. Okay. So don't wait too long. So we have one more scarf to go for this week and it's going to be mixing some teals in with our blue and I think you're really going to like it. Okay, so come back tomorrow and we'll check out our last scarf for the week. And remember, Dewdrops, I'm going to be away from my marbling tray next week. So I am putting together videos, the best <laughs> of the Corvita scarf show. You're going to like it. I think I'm, I'm excited about it. I need to compile all my footage because we could have a really fun video. All right, so I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. I hope you have an even better day tomorrow, wherever you are in this world, whatever you believe. I hope you're doing well, okay? All right, remember guys, live colorfully. Goodbye.